Hello and welcome to another episode of our coverage of Microsoft's Ignite Conference. I'm Rob Strecce and we're going to be talking about redefining hybrid AI for the modern workplace. So important these days. Today I'm excited to be joined by Isaac Pignon, who's the Global Marketing Director for Client Solutions for Dell Technologies. Welcome on board, Isaac. Hey, Rob. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. I think this is so important, and I, I think let's dive into this and start with the role of Copilot Plus PCs in hybrid AI. So important to understand as people are really trying to build out their AI infrastructure and AI-enabled yeah. applications. How are you defining hybrid AI, and how do on-device AI and Dell Copilot PCs fit into this framework? Yeah, I mean, AI is uh, it's transforming businesses at an unprecedented pace, right? It's an exciting time to be in technology. And organizations that um, you know thrive in the AI era are going to be those who can harness its potential quickly and to its fullest extent. So Dell views um, the AI world as hybrid, a combination of cloud, on-prem, and edge, all the way down to the PC. And hybrid AI combines the strengths of you know, cloud-based AI application for large-scale processing um, and, and on-device is really for real-time, secure, and efficient operations, right? So the modern workplace is going to shift mostly into hybrid. Some of those workloads will continue to live on the cloud, and, and we're seeing a lot of software vendors that are going to shift some of those AI workloads into the device. The next generation of applications um, are all being written for the MPU-enabled machines, um, there are some ISVs and partners that we work with today that are already using them today, right? And so you're seeing cool things like anomaly detection right in the background. You're seeing some content creation and gaining some efficiencies in some of those applications out there. And Dell Copilot Plus PCs uh, are the perfect choice for future-proofing uh, your AI PC investment. And, and it becomes the new standard for everyday on-device AI applications, right? The average knowledge worker um, is going to be using, you know, more than two applications with AI features. Uh, and, and with that workload, you really need at least 40 plus tops. And so 40 plus tops is going to allow the machine to be able to juggle all of this, uh, you know, these applications at once. That's going to be the real world. So you're going to, you know, a day in the life of what we're seeing in the future is that you're going to start your day. You're on a call like we are going to run background blur that's going to run on the MPU. You're going to do live translations. That's going to run on the MPU. You're going to quickly jump off of that, go into content creation, run on the MPU. All the while, anomaly detection is running in the background. And, you know, you get a really great experience because the MPU is jumping in and doing that heavy, um, you know, heavy lifting and and uh, helping your CPU and your GPU do what they're designed to do, right? So on-device AI, uh, it reduces the latency. So uh, it's super fast, right? There's no round trip to the cloud and back. Uh, so that's a really great response. If your responsive on your machine is going to be enhanced, um, and then it ensures that your data it, uh, and your your privacy uh, is is secure by processing tasks locally. So again, no round trips to the cloud and back, so less chance of your information being exposed. Yeah, I mean, let's stick with that because I think data sensitivity is really a key, and and people, you know, understanding AI runs on data and you know, making sure it's secure and things like that. But from your guys' perspective, why is on-device AI so critical for industries with sensitive data? Yeah, uh, you know, like, I mean, security is, is paramount everywhere, right? Any, any conversations we have with customers, they're always talking about security. And, and if you, you know, happen to see um, some exposures out there in the market, it can be very damaging. There, there's a lot, it's a lot of, it's very costly to deal with a security breach. And so um, when you have an on-device AI and an MPU, it's going to keep your sensitive uh, information like healthcare records or financial data local to the device. And it really reduces the exposure to cloud-based risk. So the application or the approach really supports compliance with data governance regulations while enabling advanced AI applications. Yeah, I would su assume that's critical in industries like financial services and healthcare as well, especially where those records and PII has to be, you know, really held within. So uh, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. So let's kind of 
jump in now and kind of uh, you know ground the discussion. But let's begin and understand what are some of the real world applications of Dell Copilot plus PCs. So what are some of the practical use cases for Dell Copilot plus PCs in a hybrid AI environment? Yeah, so, um, so I'll start with, you know, most of these Windows 11 PCs come with Copilot um, on it already. And so um, that runs on the cloud. And so we recently announced a couple of new features uh, or Microsoft recently announced a couple of new features. So you've got Copilot Vo Voice, which makes interacting with your AI PC as easy as speaking to it. So you can say, hey, Copilot, you know, wake words, you can ask it questions, et cetera. And then there's also Copilot Vision, which offers guidance based on what you see on your screen, right? And there's some really cool campaigns out there where that they really bring that to life. So that's available across all Windows 11 PCs, right? So that's a cloud, that's a really great example of the cloud, right? And so Copilot Plus PCs, they bring out um, unique uh, on-device AI experiences, right? These are only available on the Copilot Plus PC and they run locally on the device, right? So now we're talking hybrid. You've got Copilot if, you're, if you wanna go to the cloud and then you've got these Copilot Plus experiences that help you work on productivity. So features like recall and click to do, which streamline your workflow, reduce the time spent on repetitive tasks, all running on the on device, simultaneously working with, you know, Copilot chat, which is a text-based chat within Microsoft AI offerings that live on the cloud, right? So that's available on, on the Copilot um, uh, offering on the OS. Then you got creativity, right? You can do on-device AI with co-creator, which enables both online and offline photo and video editing, background removal, and image generation, right? Uh, I don't know how many times I'm putting the deck together and I'm like, if I could just quickly remove the background uh, and make this look better, right? So that's all gonna be faster. Um, all the while, you, you know, from a security standpoint, you get faster threat detection and response with local AI processing for advanced memory scanning as well. So those are really good examples of, you know, uh, hybrid working, uh, working in concert with uh, Copilot and Dell Copilot Plus PCs. Yeah, so let's bring it back kind of to the end user experience here. So how do these PCs enhance the user experience with resource intensive AI tasks? Because that's what people want to understand to put it mildly. Yeah, so I would say like features like AI enhanced video conferencing, right? So reducing the system lag and improving call quality, right? You get amazing energy efficiency um, when you're running these AI capabilities. You get extended battery life and optimized performance for multitasking. So, you know, overall, like I talked about low latency, you know, that means things run faster because there's no round trips to the cloud and back, right? It's more energy efficient because uh, of the MPU, you get amazing battery life. You know, we're seeing up to 24 plus hours in battery life, which is huge. And it's an overall better experience because in an AI PC, the MPU undertakes the heavy lifting of the AI computation, and that leaves the CPU and GPU free to focus on the tasks that they were designed to handle, right? And when that's done, you get a really great experience. And if we think about it, if you were to run um, AI workloads on a traditional PC, the CPU and GPU, they could run these workloads, but they would be extremely taxed, right? And so they're going to deliver less than optimal performance. So think back to running a modern application on your old PC you're going to see lagging and potential crashes, crashes, right? And so running AI workloads on an old PC can similarly burden your device. And that's just a bad experience for everyone. Uh, examples of ISVs that are already building uh, applications for the NPU. We think of that more as like the bypass, right? So we think that there are two strategies for bringing AI into your environment, onto your PCs. And then we talked about, so there's the bypass. You've got ISV uh, applications and they're going to update their software with uh, AI features that are going to run locally. So you're buying that in, you integrate that in. Where it gets really exciting is when you can build using your own data, using your own information to, you know, supercharge the, the workers um, in your organization. And so you do that with your own data. And so through uh, the open ecosystem, we have pre-validated AI models um, that live in the Dell Enterprise Hub and GitHub. And so these are pre-validated, so you know that they're going to run NPU, right? There's models everywhere, and there's all kinds of models. Um, there's like a, a deluge of models in, but you don't know how to basically take those models and run them on a PC. And we've done the heavy lifting. We're, we're trying to 
you know, take out all of that complexity because we know that our customers are really trying to figure this out. And we want to make it as simple as possible we can for them. And so they can go to the Dell Enterprise Hub. They can pick up different models, how they want to supercharge that and different experiences in their applications or build something new, right? Have some fun with it, create a different application. Um, and uh, once they've developed it, through the Dell management portal and Microsoft Intune in conjunction with Microsoft Intune, they can now manage that application. So it's tested, it's validated, it's secure, and then you can scale that to your fleet of AI PCs, regardless of the underlying silicon. And we're saving development of application by 75%, which is huge, right? And so you don't have to, you know, rebuild the application because now you're running a different silicon here or you're running to, into challenges. And then making keeping that application up to date is super simple as well because it's already in your IT environment. And so if you've got updates to it, it um, we make it super simple to make sure that it stays up to date. So um, if you don't have, you know, a developer or IT resources, we have Dell Professional Services that can consult and help with planning and implementation. Um, really, it's all about ensuring that IT teams can control those deployments, monitor performance through a centralized management console, and those, that's what we provide uh, as part of that. Isaac, I couldn't agree more. I think, again, you know, a lot of this is being built on the PCs, a lot of AI. People are redoing their applications to make them AI and agentic going forward. As people are trying to figure this out, uh, what should they do? Where should they go besides the floor here at Ignite to learn more? Great question, Rob. Yeah, uh, you know, if you want, if customers want to explore more about Dell AI PCs, go to dell.com forward slash AI PCs, and they could see our entire breadth of our AI PC portfolio from our standard AI PCs, Copilot Plus, and AI workstations. We've got it all. I know you do. Thank you for coming on board, Isaac. I really appreciate it. This is such an important topic. Thanks for having me, Rob. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching theCUBE, the leader in tech analysis and news. Stay tuned.